Last time we looked at Proverbs 3, 7. Today, we're going to look at Proverbs 3, 11 and 12. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as a father the son in whom he delights. God loves us. God delights in us, and he will correct us. And correcting us in the here and now is a beautiful thing. I know some things we frowned on it when we're corrected. When I was a child, I did that. And I thought, oh, my mother don't love me. She's always picking on me. But that was not true. My mother loved me very much. And that is why she was correcting me. She was making sure I was not going down the wrong path. God is doing the same thing. Because at the end of our days, we are going to be judged and held accountable for everything that we do. So God is coming and he's correcting us so that we can change our ways of operation that when we stand before him at that last days he can be a smiling savior saying come on in so do not despise the chastening but instead welcome it as a matter of fact surrender to it and say God show me the areas that I need to be corrected and correct me and change me and transform me so that we can be, be, be prepared to spend eternal life with God after we leave this earth. Correction is so very important. And I know like for me, when I first became a Christian and God would correct me, sometimes I feel like, oh, I'm not gonna get any better. I keep messing up, I keep making mistakes, but that's not true. Stay faithful. When God corrects, when he speaks, listen and obey. And if you fall again, get up, listen and obey. Keep at it. Keep practicing the word of God. Keep doing what um, God tells you to do. And before you know it, you're going to overcome that thing. You will be changed and transformed. So listen to God's corrections. Embrace it, welcome it, and allow it to change and transform your life. God bless you.